y'all. <laughs> nah, I'm just. Yo, we put y'all on real quick, man. This is this is my my boy Ben Trowbridge, man. This dude's from day one, and I'm gonna keep it funky with you, man. This is my first best friend since the third grade, right? Yup. Kendall School, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So he, he, we were just building, man, and he was just talking to me about his experience and how he connected it to how we grew up. So I'm gonna let him talk to you a little bit about it. Well, like I was like you saying, Avery has different different experience of learning. My, 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 like I said, I was in the military. A lot of people would say I got, my, I was a shithead, dumbass. You see, me playing about. Came back, everything changed about me. So the more, the more clear, care less about what I say, who I say it to. But that's some people. Other people need that. Some people need a near death experience. Other people need to go to jail. It's just how. Some people take it. Like I know my my but my best friend Banks. I know him high, like day one, middle school, elementary school, right down here. I he moved to two two different houses, and we always thought end up connecting each other. Which is true because the one down the corner, the yellow one, yeah. and then it was Avenue D. Avenue C, yeah. Avenue C. Always yeah. met up with each other. Right up here on this block. Yep. Yeah. And then going rowing. High school, kind of lost contact, and came back. He came back, still doing his thing. And I don't know what changed you, but you came back, and you're just, you're, you're the same person. You just didn't care. care. Then I think it was Edson, your, uh, the varsity head coach, lacrosse coach, talked, you say, hey, come, come play lacrosse. You did, so you started getting er everything changed for you. You became a freaking white boy. I always find hilarious. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Explain. Nah, that's important. That's important. That's important. That's important because I'm gonna let you be honest. You know what I'm saying? You said it, and some people have said that too. And, and, and so I want you to explain what you mean, so I can give a true definition of what, as far as what I was living and going through and experiencing. Go ahead. What you when, mean? I, when, when you're in high school, you're like I didn't really notice that much in freshman year, but I think sophomore year. I kind of just lost contact. You went to do your own thing. Junior year you came back. Well, I think you were, you were a year behind me because you got held back for grades. But we still connected, and you were just the ideal, like the ideal gangster thug. What do you want to be like? How everybody pitches it in high school. You got the money, you got the girls, you got everything. You like, a, and then all of a sudden, FC came up to you, started talking to him. It's like, hey, you want to play the play cross or come see what this is about? You're like, sure. Well, like a year late, year later, you start playing, laying people on the ground like you always do, and just change your life. You're you went from a shithead to being probably one of the most known guys in this town. Like, so what do you mean by shithead? Or I want to understand that. Cause that's that's so that I take that as you, you met you messed up a lot in life. Okay. But now you look at yourself. You, 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 you what you have your own business, don't you? Yeah. You have your own business. Mm -hmm. You have a great thing that loves you. They're mm -hmm. all doing great things. You have you own your own car. You have your own house. Mm -hmm. You're doing a lot better for you now than you did like what nine years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's not really the same being a shithead. It's just. You made a lot of mistakes, mm. and you learn. You think? Do you think that I'm making mistakes now? Everybody, it's part of life. Everybody makes mistakes. So, dude, what, I still so, make mistakes. so am I a shithead now? Hell no, dude. Why not? Why not? I mean, dude, I mean, you said you back got, then. Hold on, you, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said back then. You know, that's a good point. You said back then. You know, I made a lot of mistakes. That's what basically defines, you know, a shithead. You know, that's a good. That's a, you know, that's your definition. So I am making mistakes now. I'm not perfect. I'm a man. We make mistakes every day. I look at life, you know, through many different lenses now because I have lived through many different experiences. So what 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 makes you say I'm not a shithead now? You're not doing what you're doing back in high school. Okay. Like you remember, like, our gap now is, like, eight-year gap, and we have... So what was I doing back in high school that was so shitheady? <laughs> That's not even a word. <laughs> I know what you what you're doing, and I just had an idea of what you're doing. Yeah. 
so I don't know the whole story behind all that stuff. I heard some funny stories though <laughs> that I can't really repeat. But you're you're, well, do, well, you're doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing. Yeah. And but you're taking that now and you're passing on to the younger the younger generation. Hmm. Like you've always been a leader. You always everybody always wants to follow you, not follow you. So do you think I'm any better than anybody else? Dude, there's always somebody better than me. That's right. Same thing. So, so I just want that to be clear. You know what I'm saying? And this is coming from your honest, true opinion and perspective on on me, and I appreciate that. You know, and it's really connected to the truth. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just want people to understand I'm no better than anyone else. But you were saying something earlier. The white um, boy thing? Yeah, about the yeah, right. like in the military. Like, what, what was that about? Like, what, the white, what? No, you were saying something about, you were talking to somebody about the racism of the peace and some people's perspective on seeing life and how, on how certain things are pointed towards darker skinned people. I don't know, you were getting into that or whatever. And you were saying something like about experiences. Stuff? Yeah, 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 I don't I, know. I, I, I was just in Hawaii. Because you're white, because people say you're the white boy from the hood, you know what I'm saying? All right? You know what yeah, I'm saying? I'm the, I'm the white, I'm the white boy from the hood. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny it or claim whatever. But most of my friends are black and Hispanic, and I, I know that. So what, so what type of perspective does that give you? What does that make I you? Do you get I certain see, privileges, or do you just get to be have a perspective and learn? Privilege, privileges to me doesn't mean shit, dude. You could, you could have, you could be a white boy, straight from Greenwich, West, whatever. You fuck up, you shouldn't have any privilege. You should get fucking in trouble with saving somebody else. Okay. Now, everybody's always saying how it's really black, black, black crime or anything. White cops wouldn't abuse a black guy because he's black in that area. But what about a black cop doing the same thing to a black guy? Where's the distinction between that? It's nobody, the same thing. Nobody it's said, yeah, nobody says anything. Same. But no, it's, though people do say stuff. There are a lot of people. Not, there are a lot of people. It's not out there more. It's not out there in. It is actually the. Oh, spirit, there is? The, the, yeah, the um, it was actually a Hispanic cop, right? That that was the Castillo. The, that case, wasn't it? That wasn't a white cop, right? That um, recent case that killed that young man, and he just got acquitted of everything. Um, all right. So there's been many cases of that. I think. And that situation is more or less the issue between police brutality and their aggressiveness with authority and how they're just trying to wipe out the well, you you know, black what race. What I'm saying. In general, the, yeah. you know, that blue line. But yeah. The, it's that fine line. Like, mm -hmm. I feel if you break the law, no matter what your color, ethnicity, your race, your gender, whatever, you should, you, you're the law of black. It should go to you no matter what. Now, what if the law is written to subject certain groups, though? Like, what if the law literally is written to put certain groups in a situation where if they do anything, they break it, and so that enables that law enforcement, that group or organization, or that gang that's supposed to enforce that law, it enables them to do things freely that actually contradicts their human rights, like the civilians. This means you need to go back and review it. So it needs to be changed. It's, it's needs to go. It's not. Mostly, you gotta realize some of these laws. The stuff you're taught in high school, middle school, middle school and high school, about laws and how the government works. You're gonna learn that at a young age, and all that stuff was written what hundreds of thousands of years ago, not thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago, when the country was still young and slavery was still a thing. All right. So we have, we should go back and reevaluate of what this what it is. You'll say yes, slavery still exists, but in different forms. Blacks were not always slaves. Irish were slaves. Jews were slaves. I guarantee you, somewhere whites were slaves too. Everybody's slaves at a point. So that was year that was years ago. Even today, it still exists. We should still go back and evaluate what the Constitution is and how it is written. Can you say this? That every group that you just named, you said what, white? White, Hispanic, Okay, you said Hispanic, um, you said Jews, right? And then you said Hispanics, I think you said. Yeah. Can you tell me now that um, none of those groups, including the black group, were giving reparations or somewhat, they, were, they benefited outside of their freedom of slavery? 
which groups has benefited the most? Honestly, I can't think of it. Okay, so reparations is, is something that is given to someone to repay uh, a loss of something or something that was taken. Um, just, just paraphrasing the definition. Okay. So when I say that, that was promised to, you know, the slaves when they were free. But essentially, they didn't get it. You know, the 40 acres and a mule. Yeah. All right. Okay. So the slaves didn't get it, and essentially, the people who got the reparations were the actual slave masters. They got the land and yeah. the mules and everything. So um, when people say like people shouldn't get reparations and and how the Jews Jews were enslaved and you know just like the blacks, no, it was different. They actually are the ones who ruled the economy. They made created their own reparation. Um, they got reparations actually. So my point is. You can't really compare either one of those groups. And so I think when people talk about slavery and you hear people say the Irish too, they were essentially indentured slaves. And they were alongside African Americans essentially before slavery came into the United States. But once that changed, the rich Englishmen, the rich Englishmen went to the Irishmen and said, listen, you look like me. If you essentially, we pay you money more than what we're paying that dark-skinned dude. We can work together. And essentially what they did, they created that unified army without saying the word white. And that created the separation. Essentially before slavery became really an epidemic in the United States, there were indentured slaves, the Irish and the blacks. Yeah. So my point with that is there's a huge disconnection and people need to understand and, dif and differentiate between slavery with African Americans and the Caribbean Africans and the South American Africans and the Spanish Africans and all that. Um, there's a differentiation between them and us um, and European slavery. And that's very, very important to understand because you must know the facts in order to speak the truth. No, and this is why I always like having a great conversation. Yeah. I, I learn more. It's always fun to not, I think, debate and conversate over words. Yeah. And it's fun. So I learn new things. No, I learn, I learn a lot too, but I like, I appreciate your perspective, bro. And like you are the most people I know interact with. I always use you as an example to express like, this is a, you know, what society gives us. I'm using that label, you know, a white, you know, a white dude that I grew up with in the hood, in the community. And he had to be put through somewhat of somewhat of like initiation. Like you, you know, my older brother used to push you around, like, yo, come on yeah, over here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was that way of just that culture that we had of embracing each other through physicality. We, you know, we, we did slap boxing. Yeah, but you I was would... a tough kid that stood out and you always wasn't afraid. And you look at who you are as a young man that took takes risk and you're in the military and you're not afraid to do anything. You're able to leap and step out, and you're about to go and work for you know, at the highest level and diving in deep depths of the ocean to do welding and stuff, dude. You're just hey, a risk taker. But listen, I just want you to understand that comes from growing up around men who had that rigor, you know what I'm saying? Who had that, um, that, 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 that way of just raising each other up, raising each other up. And that culture has been lost in our community. But that's a whole nother story and topic. Yeah. But I just want to say, I want to appreciate you, bro. I always love, oh, man, man, day one. Yeah. Ben Trovis, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the bro right there. You already know, Mr. Banks.